The fad these days, your art's got to be hip to oppression, my friend Gunter used to say, sipping a glass of Pinot Gris on the noisy patio of the new northern Italian bistro everyone was talking about back then. The waiters loved Gunter, who brought artistic friends who stayed late smoking and drinking expensive wine. Gunter, they'd say when he arrived, and Gunter, who was just realizing his star was setting, Gunter would clap those Italians on the back and take his seat and order a bottle of King Estate or Loggiato. Gunter, the manager would say, Gunter, how's it hanging? And sometimes I got to sit with Gunter, and then he'd hold forth on the failings of conceptualism and our vanishing debt to craft, the living fact of paint, how paint for him was organic, and I'd drink wine I couldn't afford and nod and sometimes ask a question. Until pretty soon, the two of us were drunk and stumbling to our cars, Gunter having left a tip the waiters could hardly believe, and it's hard to imagine he's been dead these last ten years. And if we're going to talk about my own art, fine. Since then, I've had to adjust my material to the current climate, working now in barbed wire, cow's blood, and the very sand these migrants cross to make their way to this city. A city which, reflected in my art, is troubled by unrest, poverty, unimpeded growth, and the tensions that arise when people of varying backgrounds, languages, socioeconomic classes converge. My art interrogates this situation. It's art Gunter would abhor, because, seriously, people pay money for that? Still, I sometimes stop by that same bistro, now past its prime, the clientele from the new high-rise across the street, the waiters, Mexicans or Guatemalans. I stop by and order a glass of Pinot Gris, and think of Gunter, who had his day and now is dead, who my new friends speak of fondly the way they speak of a good movie they saw many years ago, a movie they'd forgotten until someone brought it up, as if to say, wouldn't it be nice to see that one again?